Bruno, we got the camera on over here, pal. Let's see if anybody gets on here today. Nobody's watching yet. Everything's working, it looks like. All right, let's see here. Carl, there's my buddy Carl. First comment of the day. Look at there, Carl. There's Tim. So we've got a moderator there. Thanks for being here, Tim. Okay, a few people joined in here. So I am inside today doing a bunch of uh, end of the year tax stuff, I guess, since it's tax season. And I uh, thought I'd do a little short live again. Last weekend was pretty good. I had a lot of you people watch it. So I uh, thought we'd try again. I'm trying different times now, and it may work out better for some of you people over in Europe. So there's Scotland and England. All right, I got a few people watching. Alabama, something New York, San Antonio, Scotland, good deal. Uh, five quarter, when you hear that term on a quarter, a quarter is a quarter of an inch. So five quarter is inch and a quarter. There's Dave, a lot of people from Alabama watching today. Good deal. I got a lot of friends down in Alabama. Arizona, Yorkshire, a lot of us from Scotland. What time is it in Scotland right now? I'm trying to do these lives maybe every weekend. I'm trying to time it so a lot of you people that's overseas, it might be a decent time for you to uh, watch there. Let me see here. There's Josh Ferguson on here as usual. There's Amanda down in Florida. All right, 8.30, well, good deal, not too bad. That worked out pretty good. Maybe about two o'clock is a good time to do these. I don't know. All right, so, trying to keep up here. Hmm. Some of this stuff comes through here in different languages, and I don't know what in the world people are saying on here. I, don't, I thought they would translate this stuff in real time on YouTube here, but for some reason they don't. And a lot of this stuff I can't even read. 9.30 Monday morning in New Zealand. Good deal. Uh, from Europe, uh, chainsaw meal I have not. That thing's new in the box out in the garage. One day I might get to it, I don't know. Let's see here. Cookies for the youngster, and this is a hillbilly. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Come here, Bruno. Bruno's here today too, guys. Look over his head, he needs a haircut. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's gotta get a haircut. That hair's getting out of control. But uh, let me see here. Cheers from Amsterdam. Well, good deal. It's Walter there in Amsterdam and Slow Jam. Good deal. Appreciate the super chats, Charles. Uh, that motivates you a little bit more to do these live videos, I guess, because a lot of the times YouTube won't even monetize a live video. They'll go back and take the monetization off and, you know, the few pennies YouTube does pay you per view, you don't even get that. So I really appreciate that. That helps us out here. So, just got out of church. Glad you haven't frozen over. You no, know, it's not been too bad here. Uh, in Tennessee, we didn't get hit with that cold front, but we got hit with a bunch of rain. In Northeast Tennessee, I got people out in West Tennessee that got a lot of snow. But over here, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. Uh, understanding Tennessee language, yeah. I get tongue tied on these videos, guys. I tell you, those little outtakes and the video from last night, I do that every time I do a video. It's just 
it's ridiculous sometimes. You just get confused, you're trying to talk and uh, keep the cameras going and it happens. Let me see here. Gosh, YouTube, I tell you what, things get stuck on here. You can't see nothing until it updates. Then it just dumps out like 100 comments at one time. It's hard to see them all. Let me see here. Ozarks, there's Joe. All right. There's Michael Hodges tuning in. All right. Uh, no, Woodmiser is the only sawmill that I've ever owned. I've had three of them. Uh, 28, 35, and now the 40. Uh, from London, hello Robin, hello Kim. How many people, 140 people watching. Last week, I had like 400 people watching. But I was doing it at six o'clock at night, so that right there might have been the difference maker. Yeah, yeah, his hair, you're right about that. We used to keep his hair pretty short, as you can see him rolling through right there. It's got pretty long recently. But, uh, let's see here. Uh, cats allowed inside. They visit inside sometimes. Now, Mama Cat, uh, you know, the oldest cat that we have, she sleeps in the house at night and she may be in here right now. Is Mama Cat in here? No? I don't know. Don't know, I don't know either. She comes and goes. She's the one that gets to come in and sleep in here at night. The rest of them actually sleep in our two car garage because we have coyotes here that are really bad at night. So uh, they sleep in the garage. We have nine cats total. They're all spayed and neutered. I get that question a lot as well. Kiln operators in Phoenix, I do not know any. Let me see here. Oak Ridge, there's Bill. Oak Ridge is just down the road from me. Let me see here. Okay. Yeah, they. Can, I, I, we got a trail camera. It's on the front porch right now as I'm watching for cats. We got so many strange cats come through. I'm always interested in see who's coming in here. But if I put the... Uh, trail cam on any of the fields around here. We're surrounded by hay fields at nighttime. Coyotes making passes all night long. He is riding on this little thing called an easy roller. My mother got it for him for Christmas. It's a little three wheel roller. He goes in the kitchen and here he rolls everywhere on it. When it's warmer, we go outside and do it. Let me see here. How's Cabbage the cat? He's good. He's out here. Sleep outside the window, actually. All right. Uh, Mike Adams, I have not done that. Hello from Sacramento, Nebraska, 30 degrees. It's nice today. I think it's about 50 out there right now. It's pretty nice today, but we're getting more rain tomorrow, man. Rain, rain, we've had so much rain. You know, I have the metal out there to go on the timber frame. Me and dad are just waiting on about three or four days of decent weather to put the to put the metal on. It rains almost every other day here right now. It's really frustrating. Uh, I don't sell firewood, sure don't. Yeah, Josh, I know what you mean. We are sick of the rain. I got a big burn pile. We burn it down here. Now I'll probably put a wood stove in the timber frame. So when that happens, I might buy a log splitter and start doing the firewood here just for my own means. We have gas in the house here. So uh, probably in the future. Commercial kiln unit. I'll, I use a uh, commercial kiln unit made by Nile. The homemade units Never used one, I wouldn't use one. Uh, Niles aren't that expensive, actually. Uh, the new kiln coming? I don't know, if anybody from Niles is watching, maybe they'll get on here and tell us. I'm not sure when that thing's coming. It's coming, but I'm not sure when. Uh, sawdust, I burn it, and some of it goes on the garden. Most of it we burn, though. All right, 
so we got how many 200 people watching that ain't too bad a uh, bit spiders i don't I don't see very many spiders actually let me see here uh, clapboards i have not there's another super chat from ib me appreciate that got another super chat bruno we got another super chat buddy look right there see it I know, ain't that awesome? I tell you what, that's a trip to the ice cream store for you, ain't it? Uh, the Wood Miser Kiln, it's good to go. I've done multiple videos on it. Rainbow Poplar, I've sawed a few of those. I usually keep them. All right. Uh, let me see. Mike said hello from uh, Oregon, it looks like. Hello, Mike. Wild cherry sometimes. Uh, do you follow Fall Line Ridge? I do not. I've seen the channel before. I don't follow him. Uh, what's your pick of blades for hardwoods? Four degree, double hard, 055. Uh, 055 is the thickness. That depends on how many horsepower you're running, though. If you're running a low horsepower mill, run a 45 degree on your thickness. I love the four degree blades. I love them. Seven degree is good too, but I love the four degree blades. Okay, hello, Frank. Yeah, I am ready for spring as well. I've got big plans for the garden. And uh, we've decided to build a chicken coop here this spring. So uh, I'll be sawing up some lumber for that pretty soon as well. Probably do a bunch of white pine on it. Let me see here. Uh, I think I'm caught up now. So super chat from IB me. Appreciate that. Look at here, Bruno. Come here. Where you at? Did you run off? Come here. Look what you got. Look at here. From JD Angel 25. What's that say? Ice cream and cookies for Bruno. Have a lovely week. Yeah, say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, JD Angel. Looks like we'll be going for some uh, ice cream tonight. All right. Really appreciate the super chats, guys. Thank y'all a whole lot. That means a lot to us here. Fort Worth. Uh, there's retired with. Uh, there's retired with wood. He's a moderator, and that's the guy in the video last night that I called out in Iowa. So. Uh, when you see you're retired with wood, that's Tim. Make sure you give him a hard time. And he's got the little tool mark right there. He's actually a moderator here. He helps us keep a lot of the crap off this channel. Black locust, man, 32 inch. That's a good size locust right there. Black oak, eh, sometimes. Hello, Scotland. A lot of people from Scotland watching. This is awesome. Good deal. Very interesting right there. Uh, chicken coop. I'm not much for the chicken tractor design. I'll probably do a chicken coop and have a run right beside it. Maybe even have that leading to the garden so they can get in there in the wintertime. No, I don't sell sawdust. Don't sell sawdust. Don't sell firewood. Bristol, Virginia, what's going on? Hello from Texas. Hope you guys are staying warm down there. The coyotes. Well, of course, I'm going to make it, you know, good enough to keep the coyotes out. Plus, we have two pit bulls here, so we shouldn't have a trouble with coyotes. I don't show my pit bulls very often. We have two pit bulls, a male and a female. So, uh, coyotes don't really get close to the house because of those guys, especially the Charky, the boy dog. He's pretty mean. He don't, he don't even like me half the time, I don't think. He just tolerates me. Another one from Scotland. Good Lord, everybody from Scotland is watching here tonight. Good deal. Bruno! You have another ice cream. Check this out. Come here. This is from Mary. Look at here. What's that say? Extra sprinkles on the ice cream for Bruno. See, come here and say thank you, Rochelle. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank y'all very much. She gets a kick out of that. Bruno's nine years old, in case you're wondering. Nine years old. He'll be ten years old here in just a few months. That's crazy.
Please show your pets in a future video. I love seeing the cats. Pets. You meant to say pets. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. You meant to say pets. Yeah, I will show Charky and Kazi. They sleep in the house at night, actually. Right now, they're out there in the backyard enjoying the sunshine. Any nice apple lately you saw? No. Not. The only time I've got to saw apples when somebody brought it to me. Honey locust, I have not. Hello from Canada. Uh, don't buy chits from Tractor Supply. Yeah, I'm not even researched that end right there. That's a whole other story right there. Hickory, have a sharp blade and get it over with. Goodness, hickory is hard on the sawmill. Hello from Virginia. Hello, Ronald. Good point there, David. Any mice? No, we got we got some moles out here though. And uh, Blue, he kills them every time. He, every, three or four times a week, we'll have a mole out there in the driveway. 73 in San Antonio. I bet you guys are tickled to death with that. We're tickled to death up here. It's about 50. Really nice. So uh, this week's plans, tomorrow it's supposed to rain again. I know it's a shocker to everybody, but it's supposed to rain here. And... Uh, I gotta saw some pine tomorrow and probably that big old cherry. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow, then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. If if the weather doesn't change, me and dad hopefully will have the metal in the timber frame. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try to video that, but I also gotta get it done. So don't expect a really great video on that either, but I'll try to do the best I can. All right. Most have gone crazy here. Yeah, they have. Uh, where's the tool built with the crazy blacksmith? It's in the garage. And gosh, I need to show that to you guys. I'm not in the garage, but it's in here in my collection. I have. I need to show that, though. All right, you two. Slow down here, pal. Slow down. That's what it does to me, guys. I'll try to get ahead on here, and it will dump out like 50 comments on my end. And I can't read them. And you try to go back and read them. It's complete. It's just, it's ridiculous trying to keep up with it. So, uh, doing the best I can. So I think I'm caught up now, but I can't go back. It won't let me, it won't let me scroll back here for some reason. Good Lord. Okay. I'm just going to start over here and hit the refresh button. No, nope, don't hit that button. Okay, uh, the beautiful piece of wood you saw, what is the, I'm assuming you mean most, it's gotta be black walnut. It's probably the prettiest wood I've ever sawed. All right, I am just starting over here. I cannot keep up at all. Goodness, goodness, goodness. 250 some people watching, good deal. All right. Red cedar, what's the best monetary return? It depends on your market and what people are buying. I really can't answer stuff like that. You gotta do market research where you live and see what people are wanting. Do you have a shop at the end of the sawmill? I do, I have a 20 by, the sawmill is 20 by 40, then the other side of the wall is a 20 by 30. Burls, maybe, I don't go looking for them. I don't really have much of a desire for them. And uh, that shop room is 20 by 30. And when the new timber frame gets done, I'll be moving the planer and all the woodworking equipment down there. Then that's gonna be made into the sharpening room just for sharpening blades and probably part the four wheelers and stuff in there as well. All right, do you have a, sh let me see here. This is, what, this ain't gonna go very long today, guys. I'm telling you what, this just keeps on getting stuck here on the chat side. Much burl and how do you get much of burls and highly figured woods? I I don't do highly figured woods, guys. I don't pull with it. As far as the burls go, let me see. My goodness, come on now, come on you two. My goodness, keep up with it here. Go metric. Why would I go metric when everything I have here is standard? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why you would say that. 
or if you're even talking to me. You may be talking to somebody else. All right. Red cedar great for chicken coop trout. Yeah, it is if you can find it and if you can find somebody who's, who's willing to harvest it. Uh, I've been sawing a lot of slabs. I just don't show everything on YouTube. If I showed everything on YouTube, I would get nothing done. Well, good deal there. The Bradleys on Catbird Hill. Good deal. Well, there's my buddy right there, Big Daddy MRI. I'm not seeing you a long time there, pal. Lost power for 55 hours, tripped on the drill, and had plenty of water. No broken pipes. Now it's warmed up. Enjoy your channel. Well, good deal. Hope you're doing all right down there, buddy. 55 hours is a long time to be with that power, especially in Texas right now with all the craziness that went on down there with the temperature. My goodness. Good to see you're okay. I'm not caught you in a lot of these live streams lately. I guess right there might explain why. You've been under the weather, kind of. But I appreciate the super chat there, pal, and hope you're doing good. And, uh... Let me see here. Uh, Pierre, I use one inch and two inch. Put it that way, buddy. I'm not, I'm not going to use metric. Everything I have has one inch and two inch on it. Now, why in the world would I go and throw all that stuff away and convert it to metric when the loggers that I deal with don't use metric or the log yards or the log buyers? You know, there's... There's no advantage for me to move to metric. Sorry. I get that comment a lot. Why don't you use metric? Nobody around here uses metric. So why would I use metric if nobody else does? Doesn't make any sense. Maybe you got a different, uh, a different wow. reasoning behind that. I don't know. Red cedar closet boards. I don't have any red cedar, Mike. It's hard to come across red cedar. Burls are great for bowls. I bet they are. I just don't get, I don't fool with burls. People call me sometimes wanting to sell them, and I don't fool with them. Mexican blanket behind your head. It is. We actually bought this in Cozumel, if I remember right. We was on a cruise back in 2016 or 2017. It went down to Mexico and all kinds of places. We bought several of these while he's down there in a Cosmel. Uh, hello, Doug. I am European. Okay, Pierre. Yeah, okay, Pierre, you're in Europe, and that's all you people is use. All you people in Europe use is metric, so it would make you sense for you to use what we use over here. So why would I do metric over here if nobody uses it? We put the shoe on your foot there, buddy. <laughs> So uh, you get what I'm saying though, it would make no sense for me to use metric here. I'm not talking about metric anymore. I don't use metric, never going to. Although my fest tools use metric and I got a converter on a chart I have to use, which is a pain. Uh, Axe collection, gosh, keep buying probably. I need, to re I need to put handles on a bunch of them. Why is white oak better than red oak? That is personal preference and it depends on the person you're talking to be honest with you, and the use of it. Well, good deal. Yeah, we, we bought three or four of these blankets down there. Love them. Axe handle and black locust. Well, that handle will last forever. Ain't no doubt about that. Uh, growing the beard. Gosh. Mm. I started regrowing my beard in 2016. Okay, I use an inches. I hate metric. <laughs> UK here. It's just personal preference, you know. That's what it comes down to. There's Homestead in North Michigan. What's going on there, pal? All right. So I'm trying to catch up here. We got 200 some people watching. If you have a question you really want me to answer, hit that super chat button and you can do a dollar or whatever. And I'm not trying to squeeze money out of you, but. That's the only way I can really see a question pop up here and not let it get by me because a bunch of them just get stand through here and I can't keep up with them at all. Because what you guys are seeing, it's totally different from my screen here. Yeah, very healthy beard scene. I've had a beard off and on since probably 20, 
2008, 2009, I guess, something like that. All right. We're going to do this very long today. It's 25 minutes in here. Let me see. Uh, no, Patrick, I kind of closed that book, and I don't discuss that anymore. Let me see here. Uh, Douglas, there's the, if you go to my YouTube homepage, there's a video that talks about why I got into sawmill and called uh, Trade of the Badge or something like that, if I remember. So you, you can go there and check that out. Let me see here. It talks about how I got into sawmill and... Pierre is the spokesperson for Metric. He's gonna convert every one of us here in a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go outside and have a uh, have a, have a measuring tape burning and burn all my standard measuring tapes. I guess he is just determined to get this Metric stuff across here on us. <laughs> I'm just messing with you there, Pierre. Don't take that seriously. There's no super chat from I B Me. I appreciate that. Twenty five dollars. Hello from Shady View Road. It's not too far from here. Where's Homestead in North Michigan? Go check out his channel. He's got a homesteading channel as well. Appreciate that there, buddy. Go Pierre. <laughs> He's nuts about matching. <laughs> oh. The old metric conversation. I used to watch, I, I watch him sometimes. He's old Rainler star. I, I, watch, I watched him for years. I watch him off and on, unless he's doing one of those silly Amazon review videos. And uh, boy, he gets really upset about metric if you mentioned it to him in the comments. He gets really mad about that. Hardest wood you have cut, Osage Orange, about four videos back. If you want to go back and watch it, that stuff was just ridiculous how hard it was. My goodness. All right, we have, look over the clocks going off here. Bruno has several of these little clocks on the wall here go off every hour. Uh, 287 people watching, 125 people hit the thumbs up. Two people hit the thumbs down. Those are probably the people that want us to go to metric. So, uh, Pierre, change your thumbs up to a thumbs up, uh, or change your thumbs down to a thumbs up, or pal. Okay, Michael, that is Polonia, and I need to saw that thing up. Polonia. Uh, the sawmill does have a regent, no, uh, no death fluid. All right. Well, Big Daddy uses metric all the time. He probably does that a lot with his, with his work, I bet. Let me see here. Yes, I do have the big Catalpa, and I just bought a new ripping chain so I could bust that thing down the middle. It came the other day, so hopefully in the next week or two, we'll be getting the big chainsaw out, the MS-880, and uh, splitting that thing down the middle, because I can't pick it up. Uh, the TYM, the loader's rated, I think, for 2,900 pounds, and that Catalpa probably weighs probably 4,000 pounds, maybe more, so we're going to have to rip that thing down the middle to take it up to the sawmill. But I got a new rip and chain. We'll be doing that sooner than later. Well, somebody changed their thumbs down to a thumbs up. I guess that metric comment must have worked. Oh, you guys are funny. <laughs> yeah, they changed it. Uh, let me see here. Ever saw a tree of heaven? That's the Polonia, and we will be sawing it sooner than later. Dave, I've done a video on my home channel that shows why well, I got into sawmilling. It's called Trading the Badge for a Sawmill or something like that. You can go check that out. I have to watch the phone. I'm, I'm doing my phone. I'm using the phone here to video on, and I'm trying to watch his screen at the same time. It's really frustrating here because YouTube just dumps this stuff on here. Appreciate it there, Big Daddy. Appreciate that. Badge. Yeah, yeah, Richard, I used to wear a badge for a living. That's where that comes from. Have you ever used your solid sycamore? We have. Beach, I have, and I have two or three videos about sawing up beach. 
on Sycamore and Beach, you got to quarter saw it or you're, or you're going to have a bad day. Quarter saw that stuff. My coffee is getting cold. Shoo! All right, the weirdest thing you ever found in a log, just nails. That's about all I've ever found. I've never found nothing really odd, mostly just nails. Let me see here. A good amount of people are watching here. So, eight quarter. <laughs> All right, guys, if you're just tuning in, a short live today. Gum I have, but it was horrible and uh, never saw a mesquite. Cottonwood I have not. And uh, I'm trying to keep up with these comments here. If you, if you got something you really want to know the answer to, do the super chat thing. If not, I may or may not see it. I don't know. It's hard to keep up with this stuff. And I had some questions about Patreon, what you get from that. If you join Patreon and support us on there, you get the videos about 12 hours before they go on YouTube and there's no ads on them. YouTube does all the ads and stuff. I have no control over how many ads and the way YouTube monetizes these videos nowadays. But if you join Patreon, you get to see stuff without any ads. I do multiple posts a week on there what's going on and... Uh, Kind of like behind the scenes of what's going on here at the sawmill. All right. Alaska Awesomeness. That's the guy. That's Gil up in Alaska. He, he won the Axe giveaway back in December, actually. That uh, council tool uh, reissue boys Axe. Uh, heirloom family table, probably quarter sawn oak because it's very stable and it will last a lot longer because of that. Quarter sawn material barely moves at all, really stable. All right. No, Bill, those bars that guide the wood back are actually uh, wood miser. They make those. All right, arrowhead and bullets, I've heard of that. I've never seen it though. And I, I might've missed a few, not realized I hit up in the past and maybe thought it was a nail. All right, where are we at now? 30 minutes. All right, I be me, appreciate the super chat. I be me done like 40 or $50 worth of super chats today. Really appreciate that, it helps us out here. Okay, uh, outsource your wood. Mm. Talking to other sawmills and also going out and finding loggers. I am totally behind here. Man, a live YouTube. I wish you wouldn't dump these comments on here. Blackjack oak is a nightmare. I never saw that before. I don't think I've ever heard of blackjack. I've heard of black oak, but blackjack oak. I'm not sure about that. Hello, in Ohio. What's going on? Stephen in Virginia. This ain't a bad time here because in Tennessee it's four o'clock and there's a decent amount of people watching. Maybe this is a better time than late at night maybe to do this little live here. All right. Let me see. I'm caught up on that. Michael Hodges. Yeah, they, they hit a bullet. Uh, QQ. I'm not sure what you're talking about there. Posto. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. Hello, David. All right. I need to get me a camera that mounts on this computer here. I'm not constantly looking back and forth here. Exotic timbers sure don't. Locust, uh, black locust, people use that stuff for fence posts around here. Kind of hard to find though. Most of it's rotted in the middle. It's got any size to it. Smaller stuff is too small to saw. Too small to saw. So they're throwing rhymes out now. Look out. Let me see here. Great channel. 
Hello, John. Thanks for watching. I think we're caught up here. It's getting 35 minutes. Almost 300 people watching here. Walnut. I agree with you on that. All right, I'm caught up, I think. Every time I say that stuff gets dumped in here. So, uh, uh, Kevin, the temperature and how long depends on the species, the thickness, and also the moisture content before it goes into the kiln. Lots of variables right there. The weather's nice today. It's about 50 degrees outside, but rain coming tomorrow. So, uh, never fails. What wood is the best to cut? Depends on what you're using it for, if that's what you're asking there. Enjoy, uh, okay. More mud, you're exactly right about that. Yeah, somebody hit the thumbs down button again, my goodness, they just didn't like what they was hearing, I guess. Cracks me up that people actually go through the trouble of doing that mud in east tennessee boy we have plenty of mud here it's been a nightmare for the past. ever since christmas we've had rain and snow not a lot of snow but just little flurries and it's just been nasty man four degree absolutely i don't really care about the finish uh as long as it cuts flat and true that's all i care about because of its dimensional stuff it don't matter and if it's live edge slabs or stuff that's going to be kiln dried for furniture makers, it's going to be run through a planer afterwards, so it don't matter either. So I'm not really keen on the finish. I'm not, I don't really care about that, as long as the thickness is consistent in your, all your dimensions. That's what matters the most. 135 tons. I could use about 50 tons here. Yeah, I got some of that geotech to put down that you put the rock on top of. I just need to get that done. All right. Hickory saw, hard as a rock. All right, so I'm called up again. Throw your questions in there or, uh, or better yet, do your super chats and I'll see them first if you want to do that route and we'll keep going here for a little bit longer. It's about 38 minutes into it here now. What's the best wood I have cut? I mean, that's kind of a broad question. It really depends on what I'm using it for. Uh, you see that one? Uh, no, I don't set them every time I sharpen. And uh, there's some blades I never set again. I just sharpened and kept using until they broke. Uh, 34 inches on the width. Michael Hodges, the first log I ever put on a sawmill that I owned was a walnut. Now my buddy Matt let me run his LT28 before I even had a sawmill and we sawmill poplar all day long. Those are some giant cherries. Uh, apple, I've done multiple videos on apple, on, on sawing up apple, if you want to go check that out. Never saw any pear. I don't talk about money on here as far as that goes. Uh, to uh, put it nonchalantly, my money is pretty much my business and my business alone. I don't really talk about stuff like that. No offense. Have you ever cut Hackberry? I have not. Saw and hickory, it's pretty hard. Hurry up and get it over with. Uh, tulip poplar and poplar here in Northeast Tennessee is the same thing. All right. Um, metal side on the ground. That was left here by the people we bought the farm from and it's just spare metal laying around. So there's several sheets of it right there. If you need metal to cover something up, there it is. That's pretty much a story with that. What's the wood you have to cut that you want to? Mm, nothing really. I pretty much saw it, everything I wanted to get my hands on. Uh, the big catalpa sooner than later. We talked about that earlier. 
I got a ripping chain the other day. We're gonna rip that thing down the middle and take it up to the sawmill. No, that's not the width of my cut. It's 34 inches. 34 inches. All right, let me see here. Uh, hello, Jennifer. Thanks for stopping by. The number 40 in her sawmill, that's a numbering system the wood miser has. I'm not sure what the numbers stand for. Uh, the barn project hasn't even started yet, guys. It's not even started yet. Redwood, I have not. The barn will probably be this spring. And uh, I think Tony from Tony's Tractor Adventure may come over and help us out on that. All right. Let me see. Uh, 450, I did not. I did not consider the LX450. Looks like a good meal, but I didn't even think about it. Seen a kiln heated with the Wood Doctor Buller. Never seen that. My new kiln's electric. Hello, Dave. Here comes Bruno back around. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Wood stays in the kiln. Depends on thickness, moisture content before and after, and uh, species. A lot of variables right there. Could be anywhere from a week to a month. Put it that way. There's no set time on a kiln as far as how long it takes. Uh, larger wood miser. I would like to have an LT70 one day and they, they have the same capacity as far as the, the, the cutthroat. They, they'll saw the same size timber, but it has a bigger engine on it and it has faster hydraulics. Uh, Chinese chestnut. I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, uh, the eye dry? No, I did not. Sure didn't. I've always had a Nile kiln, and it works perfectly, so I stayed with Nile. Uh, yes, we do saw maple. If you go back, Kevin, I've probably done 15 or 20 videos about maple in the past five years. Big Daddy, take care, buddy. Thanks for the super chat earlier. Hope you stay warm and well down there in Texas. Take care of yourself. Joe, where you been? We've been waiting on you, Joe. Looks like Joe finally joined us here. Bruno, you wanna see what Joe put on here? Joe put some little uh, emojis on here of a dog. You wanna see it? Come on over. Say, uh, come here. You say hello to Joe. Hey, Joe. <laughs> That's about as good as you're gonna get today, Joe. He's, he's preoccupied with watching a little movie there on his iPad, it looks like. Uh, how do you order your slabs? Mm, I've not sold these slabs in a long time, to be honest with you. I don't have anything even in the kiln right now. Hello from the UK. There's my buddy Gil. Thank you very much, Jill. I appreciate that. I don't... Uh... <laughs> Joe, I will show that to Bruno when he comes back over here in a few minutes, if he does. Thank you very much, Joe. Really appreciate the super chats, guys. I take these super chats and I kind of put them separate from the channel monetization. And that's what pays for our cameras along with the Patreon stuff that we get every month. Because I need a new camera, guys. And cameras are not cheap. So uh, that's what I use to keep these cameras rolling. All right. Uh, pine sat mess up the blaze. I, I have a... Uh, Goodness, what in the world it's called. I had it right. I was going to say it. My sawmill has the feature. I can't even think of the name of it. That's a shocker. I'm not, I forgot what I was talking about. The Lubemizer. It's a high pressure water system. It pumps water in the blades. So sap would go, I mean, sap and pitch on the blade is gone immediately. There's Daryl with the super chat. Thank you, Daryl. Appreciate that. Uh, Indiana Diesel. Well, I use a 77D Canon as my main camera. It's a DSLR 77D. And what I want to get is an 80D. 
Uh, 77 D is okay, but it's starting to get some age to it and it's starting to malfunction a whole lot. So an 80 D I think would be the top tier of what I need as far as that little realm of cameras. And uh, they're about, gosh, I think they're about $1,100, man. Those things ain't cheap. But uh, that's the camera I'm hoping to get there. Let me see here. Mark DeLacy, I do. Uh, actually, Greg, Mark called me on the phone about a, a few days ago, actually. Mark's a good guy. Talk to him all the time. There's the Super Chats. My goodness. Thank you very much, Phil, for that. 30 below in Alaska. Good Lord, Gil. Stay warm up there, pal. One down would dipper and visit you too there, buddy. I'd love to go to Alaska. There's some super chat, so appreciate that, people. That goes directly to the uh, Out of the Woods Camera Fund. Really appreciate that. Do pretty good on super chats today. $120. Good deal. Really appreciate it, people. 900 more and we can uh, get the camera, hopefully. Is the porch too cold? It's not today, but I've been in the house for most of the day doing a bunch of uh, tat stuff and uh, editing a video as well that kind of crashed on me. So I'm kind of in here doing some stuff. Kevin, thank you very much. Appreciate that a lot. Let me see here. Jennifer, thanks for watching. I'll be glad we move back outside though for these live videos. And I'm gonna actually run internet if I can afford it down to the timber frame and hopefully have. All right, we're back, it's working. Had a phone call come in there or something. And it looks like I lost about a hundred and some people as well during that. Is it working now? I think it's working. That was aggravating right there. All right, we're back. Looks like 200 people left, but we're back. <laughs> There's my buddy Carl. Thanks for sticking around, Carl. Thank you, Melissa. There's another super chat that came through. Appreciate that for the camera fund. Yeah, it went 10 7. It's back 10 8 now, though, it looks like. My goodness. Internet service actually is pretty good here. It's not too bad, actually. I, I usually put this thing on Wi-Fi and I had some kind of a message coming in that completely blanked out the screen. All right, so we're back and a few people have jumped back on here. We lost about a hundred people, it looks like. Bruno. Cut that down just a little, please. Thank you. All right, never left. It was just buffering. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing on this end. But thanks for sticking around, guys. We got about ten minutes left. I'll try to I'll try to do these for about an hour. You know, I got the phone on airplane mode actually. There, Shane. I don't know why it done that for. Very aggravating, but sometimes that happens here on the old YouTube stuff. Can't control it. Not control it. Well, maybe well, Michael says it went out there as well. All right. With your money, I ought to have two LT70s. Well, you, you mm. with your money, I would have two LT70s. <coughs> I wish I could say you were right about that, but you're not. You see here, timber frame updates very soon on that. We're gonna be working on it this week, maybe putting the metal on. Okay, shout out from wet Scotland. Boy, it's wet here, guys. It's so nasty. You know, I, I had the tractor out this morning. I was gonna do some stuff, but gosh, it made such a mess right now with this rain. It's really, really aggravating to do anything. Uh, the, the, it'd be about 300 feet away, but I may have, an, I just may have the cable company drop me a line down there as well. I'm not sure. Uh, we went with black, black metal. All right. 
Yeah, I'm not sure about that either, David. I'm, but we lost a ton of people, but we're slowly building it back here. We was up to 300, son. Now we're back to 228. Not bad. All right, guys. We have been on here for almost an hour. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's too. It's too. It's it's warm today, but man, it's still nasty here. Good lord, it's nasty. Uh, I saw the white pine in the last video with a four degree blade. Man, I love it. I love those four degree blades. You're right about that, Randall. Red cedar. Uh, I don't know. Maybe eventually. I got several acres here. I need to. I, I need to build a fence on, and I'm going to start doing that this year. Some at some point. I'm not sure when. Chester, I sure did. I appreciate that. We got a bunch of stickers in from you people, and uh, instead of putting them on that toolbox up there at the mill, we're gonna put them on a toolbox in the new timber frame down here because I got so many, I mean, it would fill up the toolbox. I couldn't show them all, but we've been working on those. My wife's been putting them all together on a magnetic uh, eight by 10 pieces of uh, paper. It looks really good. All right, let me get caught up here. There's a super chat from Chester. Really appreciate that, Chester. Yeah, Carl, I gotta figure that out. I got a buddy who works for the cable company. He's gonna come over and take a look at it. I'd like to get internet down there if I could, though. Yeah, it will be hot in the summer, but won't be too bad. Probably just spray foam insulation underneath it. Uh, Ryan, yeah, Wooden Miser has. See, I was talking to them the other day. There's like a six or a nine month wait on a new hydraulic sawmill right now. And I don't know if that's because of COVID or parts or maybe both. But I uh, used to, it was about eight weeks in a sawmill. When I bought my LT40, it was eight weeks and it was ready to go. And uh, now it's like six to nine months. I don't understand it. And if you call them, I'm sure they'll explain to you the reason, but man, that's a long time right there. Yeah, the drywall scraper, that works every time. That's a great little tool to have to clean off your slabs. My buddy Jake showed that to me down in Georgia about three years ago, 51 minutes here. All right. All right, I think we're caught up here on the questions and everything's freezing up again. My goodness. All right, so that's another question there about the fencing. I got two acres right here in front of the house that's separate. I'm, I'm going to fence off. And it's got an old cattle fence on it that's junk. And I got a new attachment for the tractor the other day that will pull posts out of the ground. So we're going to get the TYM, go down there and pull up every post and I have a three-point hitch auger that we'll put on the TYM and drill all new ho uh, holes. All new holes for the, uh, for the fence, for the fence post. And I also have an attachment that will stretch fence out as well. So uh, a lot of fencing videos coming up soon, guys, as soon as I get that barn roof on. A lot to do here. I need to also dredge, uh, dredge, I can't even talk here, my goodness. I need to dig some drainage lines as well. Uh, you're right about that, Carl. You're right about that. It, you're right about that. You gotta document everything on here. It doesn't happen. You're right about that. And I've been, I tell you what, guys, just to let y'all know, I've been behind on videos this year. In November and December, I was putting out tons of videos. In January, the schools closed down again because of COVID, so Bruno was at home with us. And my wife, if you're not don't know about it. She works 12 hour rotating shift work. So that makes it kind of difficult right there when I'm homeschooling all day and she's working 12 hours. And then we had a few deaths in the family and just a lot, just a lot of, you know, bad luck, I guess, this year. There's Mama Cat. See her coming down the steps? Here she comes. Where you at? Come here. People are asking about you earlier. Come here. So this is Mama Cat that stays in the house. 
most of the time. She's a Maine coon cat. But she's getting kind of hateful with her old age here. She's hateful. She's hating every minute of this right now. If she could do it, she'd reach over here and bite my head off with petting her. She, she just gets hateful. The older she gets, the worse she gets. Mom? Bruno, you want her? Yeah. All right, you can take her. You want to take her outside? Yeah. All right. Hey, that's not nice. Yeah, she's aggravating. What's aggravating me? I mean, she just aggravates you. Um, all right, Carl, thanks for answering that about the TYM. All right. Let's see here. Uh, changes to the LT40. I would have added the laser. I didn't get the laser attachment. That's about $1,000. I wish I got the laser put on the side. What are we up to now? 260, 31 people watching. Good deal. Uh, I think I'm caught up now. Carl answered the comment about the Yanmar. Uh, th that's my friend Carl Peterson, guys. He, uh, he actually works for TYM, so he jumps in here on a lot of the TYM questions and helps us out. Really appreciate Carl for being in here and helping us out and answering those questions today. And uh, also thanks to TYM for supporting us here on the channel. Really means a lot to us. Let me see here. Caught up again. All right, Bruno, we've been on here for an hour. My coffee is now cold, so I need more coffee. I need to get outside and get something done before it gets dark outside. Ever consider the wood miser molder? I had the wood miser molder there, bud. I got it last June. It's up there in the shop, and I'm yet to even turn it on. It's going to be going down in the new timber frame as soon as I run power down there. All right. Uh, the edger I am. Sooner than later, hopefully. Sooner than later, I tell you. I got a lot of equipment here. I got to get set up and going, guys, and 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 some and some equipment that's on the way. It's some really exciting stuff, actually. Let me see here. Caught up on that. So uh, real quick, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching the channel. We're now getting about two and a half million views a month, which is just ridiculous. I never thought this channel would get that large, and. Uh, subscriber count is up to 122,000 subscribers. That's that's uh, a lot bigger than I thought the channel ever did as well. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. Really appreciate you. Uh, white birch. We got a little bit of birch here, but usually in people's front yard is an ornamental tree. All right. Thanks, Daryl. All right, Edger should be up here. Thanks, Daryl. Oh, Daryl's watching this today or not, Tim? Is Daryl in here? I've not seen him in here, Tim. Let me see here. I'm caught up on everything else. All right, Frank, thanks for watching. We're almost to an hour. All right, any more questions at all? We're going to call it done here. I think I'm caught up on these questions, it looks like. What do you think, Bruno? Good. Good? Okay. Honey locust, I have not. Uh, the laser attachment would show where the blade is going to go, as you saw. So if you're trying to line the sawmill up to make a cut, that laser would shoot down the end of the log, and you would see where your blade was going to go. Uh, my beard, I started regrowing my beard in 2016 after I cut it, which is one of the worst decisions of my life. Let me see here. Uh, 
of the future. Gosh, there's a ton of stuff going on here, Jill. There's a new kiln that's coming here sooner than later. There's some new stuff for the tractor that's coming sooner than later. There's attachments here for the tractor. I'm not even showed you guys yet because it's been too darn muddy to actually get it here and properly use them. Garden season's coming up, so we're gonna be using the tractor to till up the garden. There's, uh, there's a lot going on here, a lot going on. It's gonna be a very busy year for the, for the channel. A lot going on. Have you ever had a mullet? I have not, but I do see they're making a comeback here recently, though. Okay, uh, any tips for a new sawyer? Mm, get to sawing, I guess. Get to it. <laughs> Hello from Davis, California. Hello there, Ward. All right. So that we're going to end this one. This is about the one hour mark. Well, Bruno, you gotta check this out. You gotta look what Joe just sent you. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that. You believe that? Yeah. What, what's he sending you there? What is that? It's a letter thing. Yeah, it is. Joe, you are awesome. Really appreciate that, Joe. Bruno, gotta kick you out of that. Well, good deal, Jack. I'm glad to hear it. All right, so we're caught up. Thank you, Joe, for the super chat. And thanks to everybody else for the super chats today. Really appreciate it. Like I said earlier, these little super chats are going toward the, uh, the new camera fund. Because man alive, cameras are expensive and I need a new one. More people in Scotland. I'll tell you what, man, we've had a ton of people from Scotland on here today. That's awesome. So, uh, a good entry level sawmill really depends on your budget, to be honest with you. Depends on what you can afford. I would get a wood miser if I could afford it. They have the best service and the, and the most proven sawmill out there, in my opinion, and I'm not being paid to say that either. Canada is warming up, my goodness. It's warming up in Tennessee today. It's already 4.30. Just cut down a black walnut at my property and there ain't much heartwood. Huh. Well, it must have been in an open space area where it didn't have to fight for nutrients and sunlight, therefore you have more sapwood, I would assume. Probably out in the middle of the field somewhere. <laughs> Major camera. You're exactly right about that. That guy earlier, people, he's probably off here by now. He was dead set on converting me to the metric system. Man. Yep, and Mark, Matt, the rain is coming back tomorrow, it looks like. My goodness, that's all it does is rain. Rain, 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 my goodness. All right, Homestead, appreciate it. There's Pierre, he's back. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time there, buddy. Hope you got a good sense of humor. There's Jack, North Carolina. How long does a blade last? Depends on what you're sawing, how wide you're sawing, and how fast you're sawing, and the species. There's a lot of variables in there. If you're sawing flat, wide, live edge slabs, not too long. Dimensional lumber, pretty good. Ward, thank you, really appreciate that. Another super chat, guys. The super chats today are adding up. We're up to $205. Man, it's pretty good for super chats today. Really appreciate it. The Bruno's rolling around the easier earlier we get, looks like. We are now at over an hour. My goodness, over an hour. I think I'm called up here. So, uh... All right, guys. Thanks for the super chats. It really means a lot to us here at the channel. Thanks for watching. And uh, as far as videos this week, it'll be sawmilling tomorrow, but it's gonna be raining. I have a new grapple. There's a little, 
I guess some uh, people watching today, a little sneak peek. I have a new grapple for the TYM. We'll try to put that on this week and uh, test that thing out. And also, maybe put the metal on the top of the timber frame if it dries up enough. So that's what's going on this week. Thank you, Jill. Hope you have a good week as well. I can saw up to 20 feet long. That's the longest that I can saw on that mill. It never fails. I try to do my little conclusion here and YouTube will dump about 30 comments here I didn't even see. And I got these questions that came at the very end. Matt, thanks for watching. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. Thanks to Carl from TYM for helping us out. And thanks to Tim from Retired as Wood for helping us out here on the moderating. Bruno, you wanna tell everybody bye? Bye. Bruno's signing off, guys. Over and out there from Bruno. Go metric. No, <laughs> we're not going metric, Pierre. We're not going metric, I'm sorry. Uh, great afternoon from Matt. Barry, thank you for watching, my friend. And uh, all right. We'll try to do a live chat or a live video every weekend from now on. So uh, got a lot to do here at the meal, guys. Got a lot going on. So thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, we'll see you guys sooner than later. This one video a week stuff is going to stop now. So uh, I'm getting back in the saddle here. And you guys will be seeing a lot more than me. So uh, good deal. Thanks for watching, people. Try to turn this camera off now.